The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business. Right here in Central New York, The Local Show is locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now your hosts, Tom and Steve. Back into it and back at it again. You've got The Local Show with Tom and Steve. And uh, we're getting toward uh, spooky season, uh, and before spooky season comes the New York State Fair, of course. And uh, Spooky season, just to be clear, is winter. Yeah, <laughs> just in case a, there's any question. That is a, a spooky thing. Uh, but uh, before all that, yeah, the State Fair, and uh, Steve is... We got you set up in one of the cattle buildings. Um, I'm going I'm to show a, Steve off this year. I've gained a little extra weight. Fine. <laughs> I'm going to hook you up and uh, let people come see you. No, I, I'm still mad they took the racetrack downtown. Yeah, I know. You've you heard are. me say that before. It's like, that's God, it. I took the racetrack down. But um, That's very old news. It, it's very old, but it's a lot of laws. It's like missing my grandpa that died when I was 12. It's just, It was an amazing, uh, amazing thing. But what's your favorite thing at the fair, Tom? Nothing. Absolutely nothing anymore. I, it used to. What was? What did it used to be? The, the racetrack? Bur- burlesque shows. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. you did you not play? <laughs> did you play bass guitar at those when you were a kid? I did. <laughs> yes, that's hysterical. <laughs> they did have those folks uh, back at the then. Fair. I don't know. <laughs> Things have changed. Yeah, I was only 16, 17 years old, and my father said, hey, I booked a gig at the State Fair, and he didn't tell me what it was. Oh, my God. And I showed up, and I said, what are we doing here? And we played all the music for the uh, burlesque. It was can, live music, no you, DJ. Can you imagine bringing Nick to that yeah. like today? <laughs> Nick, your 17-year-old, 16-year-old, whatever he is. Well, let me tell you, I, I there was some good life lessons that I learned yeah. that you always wash your hands. Yeah. That's oh, what my, my father told me. He goes, wash well, your hands. Well, the, the fair is improved in some areas let's yes. give it that way yeah yeah, yeah. no burlesque anymore yeah. <laughs> but uh, i don't know anymore with the with the fair you know i think COVID screwed me up i didn't know what to, to come back to or, right uh, all that i do like eating there you know and I, of course I, what i try to do is eat clean you know from now until when the fair starts so that i can go and have a blooming onion and a couple of beers and things yeah, like I that. i saw the calorie count in the blooming onion onion yeah it's like four figures. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> God, not well, good. <laughs> not good. Well, it's good for my cholesterol. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, I, I was encouraged by the new fair director. I thought uh, she was I, very well spoken, yeah. and it seemed like she knew, uh, you know, there's a lot of new things that are happening. Yeah. And you know what I love the best? The thing she said, no more handshake deals. Let's yeah, right, let's yeah. let's make let's bring this up. Let's do it right. Let's be fair to everybody. And I right, liked that. It right. wasn't like hey, it, and yeah. I, I thought that was great. And it got me encouraged about going. And, and we're doing some stuff for do, our friends right. in New York Maple over New there. New York Maple. And, so um, we'll encourage people to go over there. Yeah. Uh, so here's an upbeat and positive lady. She always brings me up a couple of notches. It's uh, Sheila Ostrom, owner of Senior Home Care and Alzheimer Solutions. How are you, Sheila? I'm great. Very yes, good. I'm looking forward to the fair. Good. I have some favorite foods as well. Yeah. So. <laughs> what are your favorite? food Sheila I always oh, get a chocolate covered banana oh and I always get the London broil sandwich with the cheese sauce is on that it. good oh oh that's gotta have a lot of calories for. that's worse than the uh they're all onion. bad yeah they're all bad and a pizza free always oh yeah a pizza yeah free. pizza free I like yeah. yeah our funnel cake yeah I don't know the difference no, I, like, oh, the... I like the pizza free that's the long oh twisty right yes one. and yeah. the funnel cake would be it's the little, circular circular thing yeah. 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 yeah 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 I got a big discussion with Lori here in her office about I said they're all the same she's like they're not the same She's, they're not. She's very Italian and very yep. defensive. Right. Like, they're not the same. They're, and she was like, like mad at me. I'm like, it's just fried dough. No, no, this one's better. And apparently, yeah. I don't know if she's my, been branded or it tastes more like a donut. Yeah. So you know, there's my grandmother used to make inside. pizza free. Oh, really? Oh home? God, yeah. Oh, I didn't know you that, that was a staple. Yeah. <laughs> and since she passed <laughs> away, I you know I, we haven't done that in a long time. But your cholesterol dropped yeah, eighty points. Right. Yeah. Yes, it would yeah. be a good thing. So you got some other things happening in the fall. Uh, yes. You have your, your big what do we call it? A we festival? have our big conference. <laughs> okay, good. conference. Yeah, I wouldn't call it's it not a festival. festival. Okay. Um, we have our big Living with Dementia conference uh-huh. 2024. The caregiver, uh, the care partners journey. And we have an exciting lineup this year. Um, Our main sponsor, Velocity Clinical Research, was able to really help us get some some great talent in this year. Nice. Um, We are going to start out with Aurel Moody. He is a TED Talk guy. He speaks internationally, and he's going to be our motivational speaker to start the day off. Is he specific to dementias and Alzheimer's? No, he's not. So he's tied the whole talk into what we do as caregivers. Uh, Just amazing. He's just so inspiring. Right. Um, 
Then we have uh, Dr. Santos from Rochester who's coming in to talk about dementia in her clinic that she runs out there. Um, and then just some general things. There's a lot going on in Alzheimer's um, yeah. research and um, medications that are, you know, on the cusp and blood tests and, right. you know, what's new and upcoming and what's now. Are you still looking for any sponsors or anybody to participate in the uh, conference? We are completely full okay. right now. So That's we do awesome. not have room for any, uh, for sponsors or table exhibitors. We are completely full. Okay. Um, they are very thoughtfully chosen. Uh, the tables are only businesses that actually do stuff for people with all types of dementia. Mm -hmm. So right. we don't have fluffery. So nobody's selling heating pads. Exactly. <laughs> gotcha. yeah. Yes. Or, um, yeah. No, it's very true. Every exhibitor is extremely thoughtfully curated mm -hmm. yeah. and we had less space this year because we're doing breakout rooms. Oh. Um, and we didn't do that at the first conference last year because we needed to Start, try to start yeah. with just one room, but this year we're doing breakout rooms. So um, we're having a live um, demonstration of a clinical trial and what that looks like so families can understand what that is. Um, we're actually having a caregiver family, a whole family of people who are gonna be on a panel and they're just regular folks like you and I who have been taking care of their family member with dementia and opening that up for questions. So the okay. caregiver uh, the caregiver panel is gonna be very interesting. So who should come? Um, anybody who takes care of someone with dementia, professionally or personally, um, anyone who wants to know more about how to interact with people with dementia, all types of dementia, um, it's really important. We're having a legal panel again mm -hmm. um, because that's always needed, but it's a breakout. So if you saw that last year, you don't have to do it again. Yeah. But we did have new people this year. Um, and then we have the um, local resources, free, low cost, and things you purchase for uh, people for resources in the area so they can find them in, in central New York. So all central New York. And then we also are gonna do some specific training. It's called the GEMS training based upon the principles of Tipa Snow. And uh, last but not least, we are also going to do a brain gut discussion, which has gotten a lot of um, press in the last year as far as what, what, how it affects that the connection. So yeah. it's where and it's, it's where, when, and how do people register? September 18th, it's going to be at the Embassy Suites across from Destiny. It's very easy entrance, very easy parking. It's going to be from eight to four, and people can register online at my website, SyracuseSenior.com, or they can go to our new livingwithdementiacny.org website. So either one, they can either one can and they if see you, the program can they see who's going to be there or is yes that info we there have too? all the speakers on there and if you can't if you can't do it if you are not technologically able to do that because there's still some people who attend that aren't very savvy mm -hmm. just call the office and we can register you it's 315-469-1000 and we um it's 50 dollars this year that just covers the cost of the lunch Right. So, it, how much room do you have for people? Like we have space for two hundred and fifty people, mm -hmm. um, and it will sell out. Yeah. Uh, we were standing room only last year, and we're already halfway, and we just started advertising. Oh, so, okay. So right. register soon. Don't yeah, wait. Yeah. Because we have fire regulations. We right. can't. We so, can't go over. <laughs> so if you have a family member and you're saying, "Oh, can I learn? How can I do this better? This yes. is the place to be." Yes. And how do I find help? Okay. This is the what, are the, what are the resources? How okay. can they do it better? And real How quick, can I Senior Home Care Solutions, you're looking for a little more help, right? Yes, I want those stay-at-home moms when the kids go back to school. Come right. come work for us part-time. All right, Sheila. Hey, uh, best of luck with the conference. I'm sure we'll talk to you uh, before then as well, but you have a great rest of the day today. Thanks, you too. Okay. Christina Farrar is coming up next. She's a, the coordinator of the Mobile Maple Experience at the New York State Fair and all around for New York State Maple. Okay, so uh, she'll be here next on the local show on 570 WSYR.